Well, hey there, welcome back. An attempt to set a Guinness World Record is in the works. British adventurer Dave Cornthwaite is traveling the length of the mighty Mississippi, and he's doing it on a stand-up paddleboard. Can you believe it? His journey started in June, and along the way, he's bringing awareness about issues facing the Mississippi River, and he's raising money for several charities. Right now, he's making a stop in Memphis, and he's here to tell us about his expedition and his mission behind it. Yeah, you're taking a couple of days off. You need a rest, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I sure. do need a rest. Yeah. I've paddled 1,600 miles so far, so well on target. And I can safely say I've only got 800 miles left to go to the Gulf. <laughs> <laughs> only. Okay, so where did you start? I started in Lake Itasca in the middle of Minnesota, not uh -huh. too far from Canada, actually. Okay. And that's the headwaters of the river. It was two meters wide and one foot deep back then, if you believe it. Yeah. And just been paddling on ever since. And you're going to go down to the Gulf of Mexico? Going all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. And what have... What obstacles have you come, you know, in contact with? Well, the river, of course, is yeah. a mighty river. It's yeah. one of the longest and most impressive in the world. So there's an awful lot of water hazards that you've got to watch out for, whirlpools and barges. Um, I've seen a fair bit of wildlife. Yeah. Uh, probably the mosquitoes have been the biggest nuisance to me so far. I don't see any bites on you, so that's good, though. Well, thank you for looking yeah. <laughs> closely. That's very good of you. Um, no, I've, uh, I've been covering up as much as possible. Yeah. Um, and it is lovely to get to Memphis and, and have a little bit of a break. We're being put up by the River Inn, which is great. Oh, yeah, you're right there on the island. You would not believe what a pleasure it is to have a pillow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it would. I'm sure it would. Now, here's video of you right now. And I was asking, to, you know, uh, have you fallen off of this thing yet? because of you know trees and you know because that's a very fast moving current it's a fast moving river it's very powerful luckily i've got a, a great paddleboard it's a lakeshore river rover which is top of the range for for touring okay. stand up paddling um i haven't fallen off yet it's basically this is my office that you're seeing yeah. now i've spent the last seven and a half weeks on this thing there's a fair bit of uh, current and also wake kicked up by these barges yeah but it's been a great journey really eye-opening and i'm I'm burning a huge rate of calories. I went to a kooky Canucks last night, yeah. and I don't think I've ever seen a burger quite that large. <laughs> and you scarfed it down, I'm sure. Oh, it disappeared in seconds. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're from London. I am. And what made you decide to do this in the States? What are you after? Well, I'm doing a project called Expedition 1000. It's a career project. I'm a travel writer. So the idea is to do 25 separate journeys, each one at least 1,000 miles in distance. Okay. And every one of them using a different form of non-motorized transport. This is journey number four. The idea throughout the project is to raise a million pounds for two charities, the AV Foundation and Copperfield, but also to promote getting out onto the water, mm -hmm. getting people out there understanding the water. It's incredibly important. I also hear that Memphis has the best drinking water in the world. You've got some really deep we aquifers here. Yeah, we supposedly do. <laughs> it's amazing. So we I had, <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess it's the way it's filtered and things of that sort, but yeah. Well, we had a, a lot of paddlers come in. Uh -huh. I think 20 paddlers joined me and my, my paddling partner, Tom, for the last... 20 miles into Memphis yesterday, people from the Wolf River Conservancy, Memphis Stand Up Paddle Rentals, Ghost River Rentals and Outdoor yeah, Incorporated, cool. they paddled 20 miles with us and it's all about just protecting the local waterways, showing that if you respect the waterways and care for them then you guys still get your nice drinking water. So do you know if you're close to setting the world record, like what is your time or what is the situation to set it? Well, the... The ultimate world record, I suppose, is the distance record on the stand-up paddleboard. I need okay. to cover another 750 miles or so to break that record. So we're on target. Cool. Um, and Tom Evans and myself the other day broke another Guinness World Record, 77.2 miles in one day on a stand-up paddleboard. So, um, yeah, the, the bathroom is going to look brilliant with all these certificates when I get home. <laughs> do you, how do you use the bathroom? Do you, you can't jump in the Mississippi. Well, I've been swimming you, now and yeah, then. I just have, have a dip, always with my life jacket and okay. always in contact with my board, though. Um, but I, I disappear off into the bush. Yeah. Um, let, <laughs> let's not get There's too personal. There's important information we have to know. <laughs> and then one other quick question. Do you talk on the phone while you're paddling? Like, do you have your, your, you know, for something to do? I mean, I know you're seeing the beautiful sights and you're probably looking for snakes and things of that. Your mind mm. is probably busy, but I don't know. Do you? I don't it's know why I'm interested busy. in that. It's incredibly busy. I try not to speak on the phone while yeah. I'm paddling, mainly because I need both hands. <laughs> to do that activity uh, but I do have a phone with me we've got a great website at davecornthwaite.com and we're on Facebook as well the group is called Expedition 1000
1000. Expedition 1000. So if people want to get on, learn more about you and donate for your cause, that's where they can do it, huh? Absolutely. We've got okay. videos, blogs, photos from the whole Mississippi. Get on there and enjoy the ride. Oh, uh, well, good luck. Be careful. I will. Thank okay. You. All right. Very cool, huh? And for more information about Dave and his adventures, again, you can just head to abc24.com and click on Find It on the right side of the homepage. We've linked ours to his.